Welcome back to another episode of the 900, my Battletech Flashpoint series. So, last episode we took a bit of a pasting against medium mechs. Uh, lost a leg, lost some weapons on my Vindicator. Um, overall we did okay though, we took down four medium mechs. Got another crab part, which is cool, so we're almost got a full crab. Um, and today we've moved to the planet, uh, well we moved at the end of the last episode to the planet Penzir. And it's looking like, if we go to the command center in the contracts here, looking like we've got three from the Arana Restoration and two potential pirate um, contracts. So I have to kind of make a decision now. I'm thinking that we want to go more pirate ways, I think. Um, last mech standing we can do here, I think, uh, which is a lance of director of battle mechs. Now, I don't know if these guys are considered pirates, not 100% sure, but these other two missions here are against the pirates. And we have one man's art and supply lines, which are both missions for the pirates. So I think we're going to go and take these ones at one skull. We might get lucky and get a medium battle mech in here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But we're going to take those. We're going to go. We're going to go to the barracks first, though, before we start taking a mission today. Um, let's go to our mech warriors. So we're going to start adding a little more skill, I think, to our guys. Going to leave the tactics, or we're going to leave the um, XP for um, 900 foot Jesus, because we're going to head straight down the gunnery line here. Uh, Owl, we don't really have any points for. Uh, Possum, I've kind of made a decision here. So I think what we're going to do for our long range guys is we're going to go with ball work. Um, that last uh, episode kind of makes me think that I think that you know they were being targeted when they were basically standing back in the woods. I'm thinking having ball work is going to be um, a huge advantage for them. Um, and I'd like to take gunnery, but I'm thinking that having um, the ability to move and gain the entrenched ability, uh, I think might be better. And then we'll head straight up to move and shoot. Um, and I think that's probably where we're going to go. Um, and then now that we've got those two, we'll just choose gunnery here to get... Uh, more uh, chance to hit. We're going to confirm this. And let's have a look at red flag. Nothing yet. Rhea, now she's our scout. Um, and I'm thinking, because I mean, I know we have sensor lock on her right now, but I'm thinking once again, because she's in close, she's going to need bulwark. We're, we, I don't think there's anything we can really do about that, but I think we really need to, to uh, reduce the damage being taken. So let's confirm that. And then we're once again we're going to head up the gunnery line and we're going to just leave everything else for now. Mech warrior training. And and then Mech Shiv promoted. once again, uh, she's a long range boat, so we want to have our um, guts up here for bulwark. And then we want to do this route um, for merely uh, unsteady threshold and stuff, so we can just start unloading stuff from a distance, have that entrenched when we move and stuff. So let's training. confirm that. All right, so that's what we're going to go with, I think, for this round with experience. Um, and now, I've also brought... Um, the other thing I noticed the last episode was not having the extra mech in the mech bay is a problem. So if you go to Argo real quick, you'll notice I'm bringing forth another Panther. And what I'm probably, probably going to do with this guy is, rather than have him as a large laser... Um, LRM-10 build, I'm going to go with large laser... Either two large lasers or large and a couple of mediums. I'm not sure yet, but it'll be one or the other. Um, just so that he can play a close-up role or farther away role, depending on what mech is down. So that's kind of where that's at right now. So let's go to the command center. We're going to go to contracts. Let's take on a good contract here. Let's take... Um, let's go with supply. Actually, you know what? Let's see if this actually affects the pirates. I'm interested to see that, the director of the battle mechs. So let's take this particular one and negotiate. We're going to go two of eight and take some cash. We're still doing okay before the end of the month. We'll be fine. So let's accept this and deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. Four max on the ground. And... Uh, commando? Sure. Some might call this pretty. All right, so I recognize the map. Normally we start over here and move up this way, but this is fine. Um, let's... Sitting up on the hill, eh? Want to go this way? 
interesting. I think we're going to go this way. Affirmative. Moving to position. If they want to play the long range game, we're equipped for that. Um, let's move you first. Coordinates received. And you. And you. Got it. Uh, let's see if we can get down to spot them. Oh, one guy down here, one guy up there. All right. We good. Okay, let's see what we got. Two lights. He needs to come down off there if he's going to fight. Um, let's reserve. I'll wait here for now. No point in moving forward and spotting one guy. Only to have a move and gain evasion. So it looks like there's our sacrificial lamb. Alright, uh, Rhea, where are you? There we go. Let's soften this guy up a little bit. Alright. That was a good start. So my guess is these guys don't have full armor. Kind of getting frustrated with that. I mean, I know it's relatively easier to fight. I probably shouldn't have played with the uh, the standard settings. There's a knockdown. I should have probably cranked up the difficulty a little bit, but what do you do? What eh. can I, do for you? I want you to move forward and kill this guy for me. That's what I want. Let's go for the CT. Don't really want locust parts, please. Wow, you missed the large laser, really? All right, Shiv, stick a Shiv in him. On my way. CT, please. Affirmative. There we go. Wow, Hostile. two guys left. Looks like we'll be able to do two missions today too. All right, let's see what they do here. I'm gonna reserve right after this guy moves. That's the commando. And I don't know what this guy is. You usually tell by how far they move. Probably a panther. Um, can I get to see both here? Yep. Nope, two commandos. One B, one B. 65, let's go after you. You are the target of choice today. Sorry to have to do this, buddy, but uh, Enemy mech. gonna invite you to the Dirt Nap Hotel. Alright, target this guy. Fire everything. Nice. I know I've said this before, but I think the people who have created this game have got a lot of things right. Is the game perfect? No. Is any game perfect? No. But I think they did um, the tabletop game perfect justice. I mean, it's it's so reminiscent of the tabletop game. Um, is it realistic? No. Um, but I don't think it needs to be. I think it, it's just it's perfect the way it is. The fact too that it's you know it's moddable. I know they, they say they don't support mods, but then they say they don't not support mods. That's kind of cool too. Look at this. It's the it's the pole flying in the mid midair. That guy should have died and we never killed him. That's our fault. Okay, Rhea, I want you to finish up that guy, please. Manda. 
Uh, let's just walk it into here, please, and finish up this commando. So I think he had bulwark. I say had because he's dead. Uh, Shiv? No point in getting close. Let's strip this guy's evasion for me, please. Firing all weapons. Pain. I bring you I pain. No sweat. We can walk it back, take a shot at this guy. And I'm not even going to move the Vindicator because if this guy survives, I would rather have him attack me. Yeah, fire everything. Oh, bye bye. Enemy mech destroyed. Well, that was the easiest money in salvage I ever made. Well, almost easiest. There's been a few almost easiest. There's been a few that have been in that one, but that was pretty simple. For a one skull mission, three half. Like, that, I don't know. I guess the pilots were superior or something. But they didn't get much of a chance to shoot. So the Oregon Directorate is a faction. Restoration's gone up by plus three. Okay. What's worth the most here? Um, LRM5 is worth what? 80 grand. These are worth 90? 60. I think we get everything anyway. No big deal. There we go. Got another commando. Hooray. Alright. So let's pull off another mission real quick. Uh, let's go to the contracts. And let's see. Supply line. Second line. There isn't anything here to be concerned about. Yeah, sure. Uh, one man's art. We know what that's going to be. That's basically two... Yeah, let's go this route. There's going to be two lances. Well, let's do a battle in the tundra. I think for if we want to make this one short, let's go this route. Oh, look, hostile acquisitions popped up too. We can leave this planet and take that afterwards. So let's do this. And we're going to negotiate for two of eight salvage. Um, local pirate organization. I guess it, they're for the individual... Huh. I don't know. What do we have with this guy right now? Minus 24. Well, you know, we could just go, um... Could go rep. Is there no way to get more rep? Five. Maximum rep is five. Zero of two salvage. I think we want salvage though. Yeah, I'm thinking we want salvage. Because we don't know what we're going to be up against here. Two of eight is fine. God, I don't know. Let's just go this route. Let's deploy and get this done. Alright, here we go. Touring news was spotted here. Alright. We I know this map. Uh, generally if there's gonna be reinforcements are coming from here. Um but let's move Yeah, let's go this direction. Don't need to tell me twice. Moving to position. Okay, don't spot any reinforcements, so maybe there isn't. You betcha. Coordinates received. Good to go. Doesn't look like there's going to be any. All right, let's get into the valley, where we'll be sitting ducks. But got to get up that hill on the other side anyway. Usually there's usually they've got like they're spread out across the top of the hill here. So no sweat. Although I think Moving out. Yeah, I think if reinforcements were gonna come, they would have shown up already. 
Gonna reserve, see what they do. Another commando one B. See, I think the th the other thing that I'm having a problem with with uh, this um, fla the flashpoint mod pack, the fact that we've got a career going here, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. But the fact that like we're encountering all the same things, and there's I mean, I know later on the salvage would be a lot better, but right now it's just like really boring to be encountering the same mechs and the same getting the same salvage, the same everything. But then I guess that's to be expected. I should I shouldn't complain so much. Progressing along, it takes a while. I know Rogue Tech's the same way, but you know when you're when you're playing Rogue Tech too, though, you get that good salvage, that one piece or two piece of good salvage at, at low level, right? When you encounter something in your first couple missions, and it's like, you know, you feel like you're you're starting to acquire things and things are getting better. But with this, it's like, you know, there's no. I'm not changing my loadouts. I'm not. Like, I'm not really improving anything. All right, Shiv, stick a Shiv in this guy. Let's CT him. Affirmative. How can you miss with the large laser? Critical hit, Commander. Thank you. Just hit with the large laser next time, please. On my way. Let's get up here. Same thing. CT this guy. There we go. That's how it should be done. Should have run when you had the chance. You should have. And then there were three. Another one B. Are you serious? Just gonna reserve. Having variants, I think, helps too. That's the other thing about Rogue Tech, when you encounter a commando, you don't know if it's going to be a large laser, medium laser, SRM, or if it's going to be a full SRM boats with, you know, inferno rounds or what. You never know what you're up against, right? Just those little variant changes. Oh, that guy did some good shooting. Nice checks. But will it have been enough? Apparently it wasn't enough. Ouch. Um, let's kill the panther. Almost makes me wish I had my PPC back again, but no biggie. What can I do if we you? blow that arm off, I'll be happy. Should probably be able to do that though. Take this. If not the arm, the torso. I'll take either one. Want some more? Huh? Do you? Do you want some more, punk? All right, fire and everything. Well, there goes his main weapon. See what they do here. Command on. All right, shooting on the vindicator. That's fine. Don't mind that. Not worried. So I don't have to pay for armor. Ha 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 ha. All right. Uh, yeah. Impossible possum. Let's do this, see if we can get a headshot on him, why not? Push him back one turn. Good to go. We walk it back. Push him back a second turn. So if we don't kill him. Well we did. 
Never mind. Enemy down. I was going to say if we don't kill him, we can uh, get one more shot on him before he moves, but no big deal. What's up, buddy? Copy that. Apologize for killing all your friends, but then again, no, I don't. Doing this for the money. It's just business. Somebody's not having a good day. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I think I saw a tear coming out of the mech. Hope it wasn't his father's mech. Or his mother's mech. Or his sibling's mech. Or his significant other's mech. I'm just gonna punch you because I can. There you go. Put you out of your misery. Bang! You're dead. Ha <laughs> ha! He sure is. Alright, he's up. Two missions down. Those were both fast. One skull mission. Wow. Okay. I'll take it. Let's see what we can know. What, uh, what to expect this. Some more medium lasers, probably. Wow. Ah, large laser, nice. Let's take a heat sink because I don't know why. Uh, let's take the LRM5 because I can sell it for more. All right, two commando parts and a panther part. Got the heat sink anyway, yay! All right, I want to check something here for a second here. Um. Reputation. So, Capellans don't like us. The local pirate organization doesn't like us. Although it's slowly moving its way back up. Magistrate Canopus, Canopus is like, no. Like, nobody really likes us here. Except for maybe the Iran Restoration likes us the most. So we're going to have to, like, figure out who we want to ally with, I guess, at some point. And then just start pulling missions for them from Max, uh... Yeah, Capellans are not, not bloody likely. Maybe the Draconis... Well, I don't know. Steiner and the Draconis Combi aren't really going to be around here much. Torian Concordant. I mean, it could be the Ar Arana Restoration. Them and the Pirates, maybe. I don't know. It's difficult to say. But we will leave the episode for now. Actually, I don't know... Let's have a look here. Okay, so this tells us what we've gained and and stuff as far as each 10,000 sea build over your entire career, you gain one point. Contracts is what? 50 points per difficulty contract completion, mech chassis, each unique chassis in your mech bay or cargo hold. hold. Now, does that mean it has to stay there? Weight class completion, no. Warrior experience points, that's not too bad to do. Star systems visited, that's hard, very, very hard. Star system completion. So if you get them all. Positive fac faction rep. Okay, negative faction rep. Yeah, we can get them to hate us all. That's pretty easy to do, looks like. Um, factor reputation completion. Uh, Argo upgrades, that's going to be relatively easy. Argo completion, no problem. Morale, what's this? Each point of morale you gain 500 points. So that shouldn't be too bad to do. Mercenary review board reputation. That's not too bad. Completion, this should be okay. So, really the only thing is traveling to all the planets and the mechs. Contract shouldn't be a problem. Mech chassis is going to be an issue because we can't choose salvage. Or choose uh, mech salvage as our thing and we can't technically buy them. So, I mean, I could at the end of the game just to get the points, but... 
yeah we'll see how it goes we will see how it goes but until next time i'm gonna end the episode here if you'd like it drop a like and if you haven't subscribed please, please feel free to subscribe and also check out my rogue tech uh um, cold forge series you'll find the uh, link here up in the uh upper right and until next time i'll see you all later